Hello everybody. You would have seen many people making presentations using a lot of data. And uh, it is believed that through the data, you can make your clients and your audience understand the concepts easily and you can bring them to the point easily. Okay, and there's nothing wrong in that. I totally agree uh, to that thought process. However, this has got a limitation. Data can inform only. Okay, so what is the way out? Okay, how to really make your data speak? Consider this message. Okay, let's say that uh, if we increase the temperature of air conditioner by one degree Celsius, we would be able to save 6% of power. And by saving this power continuously for a year, there's a potential to save crores of rupees annually. Okay, does this message inspire or does this message uh, create some emotions? Maybe, maybe not. Depending upon if somebody is like too price sensitive, probably those people might get motivated. But does this message really inspire people? Most likely not. Okay. So what happens basically, now let's try to weave the same data in a story format, which can which can be used to persuade people to get inspired and to take action. Okay, let's say this, that if we increase the temperature of air conditioner by one degree Celsius uh, in 100 urban households, then 10 children in the rural areas would be able to study under an electric bulb in place of kerosene lamp. Now, does it inspire people? There are high chances, right? So what is done in this case is the real stories basically are able to connect an emotional chord with your audience, okay? And they inspire people to take action. So the next time when you are presenting data in your presentations, do that. But see that if you are able to create stories out of it or you are just presenting data. So you need to share stories, not data, not statistics through your presentations. Okay, take care everybody. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so, so that you keep getting such knowledge nuggets uh, through me. Take care everybody.